Let's find out more about this inquiry with Senate Justice Committee Chairman Senator Richard Gordon, live from the Senate. Good evening, Senator Gordon. Good evening, Robbie. Uh, uh, Senator, nothing to update. It, it is still on schedule, as you said, that the, re the report will be released tomorrow? Well, uh, I'm trying to release it tomorrow. Actually, it's been finished for the last several, a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, and we're just trying to finesse it further so that it can be intelligible. Gusto ko maintindihan ng tao maigi. But in the meantime, uh, that's already also settled that there will be a separate uh, hearing on uh, specifically on the Espinosa case? Yes, there's no fear of contradiction because extrajudicial killing is murder. Whether it is called riding in tandem, whether it's called salvaging, whether it's called whatever, it's all murders. And that is what we have found out. Too many murders during the last so many years, going, going back three decades, even more during martial law. Yeah. So, but the important thing is nothing has happened. Now, in the case of uh, Albuera, uh, Mayor, you have practically a group of policemen barging in there. That means you have a face. You have people who kill people. They have a face, they have names, they have, we have their weapons. And it should be no problem for the EAS to be able to conclude that there was sufficient self-defense or there was an unjustifiable attack, uh, which means that uh, they took the law into their own hands and we should be able to file the cases against them. But in the committee, we're interested to find out where did the system go wrong? Yes. Why do these policemen not follow the yes. rules of engagement? And why would they yes. come in at 4 o'clock in the morning? Why would they come in at 4 o'clock in the morning in a search warrant in a place that is regularly searched? Yes. And if he had an affidavit already, why was he there? Why was he not placed in a safer place like the NBI uh, detention center or right in the middle of uh, Cap uh, Bonifacio, Aguinaldo or whatever you have which is safe? Yeah. Those are questions that are going to have to be answered. As, as you said, sir, those are uh, uh, obvious questions that the public is already asking. Without prejudice to any future hearings on the Espinosa, on the Espinosa case, what are the, what are the more glaring aspects to what we already know about this case that thematically would already tie into the recommendations that you will likely release tomorrow? Well, there is extrajudicial killing, but not state-sponsored is what we found out. There are rogue groups operating on their own. That is why one of the things that we have recommended to show you that we have completed our investigation is we have the list of all the commanders and we have the list of their areas and the number of killings every month that is going to be presented and brought to Congress every month from now on so that never again will it happen where you have a wave of killings such as riding in tandem or salvaging in any province or in the country where we are not going to take notice of it. That means there is a com combination of the executive and the legislative now looking over the shoulders of policemen, and there's also a combination of justice. Uh, uh, the uh, Supreme Court probably going to create a new court designating uh, judges who will try exclusively uh, rogue cases of policemen. We have spoken to the CHR. They will look into it. Internal Affairs of Region 8 says they will look into it. What else should happen for, for everything to be credible around this matter? Everybody's been looking into it but doing nothing. You have CHR, done nothing. You have Secretary De Lima, four years at CHR, six years in justice, done nothing. You have Montelupa with people going in there with guns, with money, with women, with jacuzzis and everything, done nothing. In other words, the problem with our country is our people lose hope they are intimidated into thinking that nothing will happen because the government is doing nothing. In my report, it will be the police who will have to answer. It will have the people to re-examine their conscience, that they have to testify when there are crimes being committed so that we can solve the problem together. Senator Gordon, maraming salamat po.